A week of activities in celebration of the 180th anniversary of the All Saints Anglican Church in New Amsterdam was launched yesterday at a Thanksgiving service. Narima Ali reports. <laughs> All Saints Anglican Church's week of activities in celebration of its 180th dedication anniversary commenced yesterday with a procession and thanksgiving service. The procession commenced at the New Amsterdam Arch, moved south along Main Street, turned west into Church Street onto Strand, then east through Trinity Street before going into the church. The gospel reading was done by Father Raymond Cummings. Those who had seen it told them how one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all of the people in the surrounding country asked Jesus to leave, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that, that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away and proclaimed throughout the city how much Jesus had done for him. The Gospel of Christ. During the sermon, Father Cummings focused on the motto of the church and how the parishioners should live by it. Tomorrow morning, we were to wake up and there is no more All Saints Anglican Church. No more. The doors we call have become part of the store or something. What impact it will have on New Amsterdam? Do you think people are going to listen? I'm not talking about us sitting down in here. I'm talking about the community. For the people who do not come in those doors, who were never at that form, were never at the altar to share in the universe, 
Miss Martha Gordon, who was one of the judges of the church's essay competition, revealed the names of the winners. Um, so for the 11 to 14 group, we had a participant number three, which is Sakina Samuels. Sakina Samuels. That's the first place to get us for the age group 11 to 13. Now the second winner is our participant number five, which is Mr. Ezra Minty Jr. And our third place goes to our number one participant, which is Melina De Freitas. And see here with this four of them, the fourth place goes, and I think all four of them should get prizes just for participating. And our fourth prize goes to, excuse me, our number two participant, which is Travis Hines. And like I mentioned earlier, we only had one participant for the 14 to 17 group, and that winner is Jalissa Hines. The week of activities will continue throughout this week and will end on June 30th with the church's 180th anniversary mass at 3 p.m. The other activities are as follows. The ordination of Brother Ezra Minty, which was conducted earlier today. Distribution of hampers to shut-ins on June 25th. The installation of monkey bars at the Esplanade Park on June 26th and 27th the church banquet on June 28th, and the youth campfire and talent night on the church lawns on June 29th. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.